Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, so I'm parked, don't worry, I'm in a car park, I'm parked, I'm not driving, so keeping it safe. So, it was just an interesting thing I saw today, the other day, or today, about um, a, a dom who wanted to increase his sub's body confidence uh, in themselves, you know, uh, male dom, female sub. But just to say that body confidence isn't always a female thing, um, or lack of body confidence isn't always a female thing. Um, increasingly, a lot of males have a lot of issues with body confidence as well. It manifests differently in males than it does with females. Um, increasing body confidence in them is mm, difficult, <laughs> can be difficult. Um, one thing I will say though that the most amazing thing or the most interesting thing I found when going into camp is that I guess it might just be the people that I hang around with or the people that I was attracted to or you know, eventually gravitated to was um, you realise that people in kink have their own kinks on body types so there's some that like you know, you're super slim person there's some that have absolutely love you know, larger than life women the bigger the better some like small boobs, big butts, big boobs, small butts, you know, any type of colour, skin, body shape, size, weight, hair colour, the way you dress, particular styles, everything. Um, so <laughs> seriously, if there's people out there that criticise you on, on your body and make snarky remarks, then maybe you're going in the wrong circles, you know, if you feel feel um, really bad about it if your confidence is lacking it's different if you're doing stuff like losing weight and shaping up for your own health um, that's a completely different thing now the thing with dieting is that you spiral and that causes you to go a little bit nuts um, they've made studies heaps and heaps of studies that show that perfectly help it healthy normal people once they go on any sort of restrictive diet they start getting psychoses and, and getting weird thoughts they get obsessed about food all sorts of other things and that starts a cycle of like what they call yo-yo dieting and it's hard for a lot of people to break out of that um, I don't go for the term dieting because to me if you're eating you have a diet whether it's healthy or not is another thing whether it's a, a, a diet that's best for your own health is also another thing so with the body confidence thing, a lot of people suggest you know maybe taking pictures of themselves naked every day. Um, I remember reading a book, and it kind of made me realise you know ages ago that there's there's one thing at least you can say that you like about yourself: um, the ability to stand naked, male or female, in front of a mirror and looking at yourself honestly and saying, look. Okay, the things that I don't like about myself, but what are the things I do like about myself? Like, is it my hair? Is it my legs? Uh, my hands? The, my posture? You know, um, the fact that, you know, despite whatever it is that you have, you can do what you want physically. Um, or you might even, it might not even be something that physical. Like, you know, you just say, you know, well, I've got the ability to walk long distances and not get tired. That's a good thing. Um, instilling body confidence in somebody is really difficult because they need to know that they're okay what the other person has to realize is that you are with them because of who they are not in spite of what they look like that is the kicker and it's very hard for a lot of people particularly if you come from a a society or a culture that criticizes everything and anything that you do um, I've grown up in that myself and it's always contradictory too so to instill in them the strength to be able to accept themselves is a massive thing and it'll be different for everybody the way you do it but finding out a bit about their past why they think the way they do um, why they think they need to change um, you know, get them to weigh it up against, you know, them as a person, how happy they are. And what, what and why do they think making those changes will make them happy? 
Will it make them healthier? Not necessarily. Will it make them happier? Maybe. Okay. So, what things do you dislike about yourself? Like physically, as in body confidence, it's a bit self-confident about. Um, it doesn't even have to be physical. It could be a social thing. Um, what things do you like about yourself? Can you honestly look at yourself in the mirror and go, hey, look, not perfect, but I'm perfectly me. And these are, good, these are the things that I would like to improve for my own health, my own well-being, not because other people tell me I should look or behave, act, think like someone else, but that's just me. So anyways, got to go, got to get to work. Love you guys. Have a good day.